Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle power. Attack of the Mega Shredder. It's a super mega shredder. Ninja Turtles Mega Force. So Shredder has once again captured Karai. He's got a helmet on top of her head and is just pumping those brain worms inside of her so he can control her. You cannot give a girl that many brain worms, okay? She's gonna OD. He calls in Rocksteady and Bebop and he's like, I know them turtles are hot for my daughter. They're gonna try to come here and get her. I need you two to protect her. Do not fail me. It's Roxanne Bebop, of course they're gonna fail you. Michelangelo is watching another episode of Krognard the Barbarian who fights a rock monster and fights him by going inside the backside of the rock monster and then exploding while from the inside. He literally goes up the monster's butt. I mean, there's no, you can try to sugarcoat it. Krognard went up a rock monster's butt and exploded from the inside. It was like inverse indigestion. The others aren't watching with them, that's because they're having a big argument of how to go in and save Karai. Leonardo wants to go full ninja mode, Raphael just wanna bust through the door, and Donatello wants to use a new invention that he created, a trash can. He makes a garbage can with a toilet seat on the outside of it to be inconspicuous, to sort of blend into the background. The problem is this thing is so big, it can't move, so they're all inside, all four of them pumping with their legs, and the thing just goes like this. Eventually the turtles do get inside and they're just about to rescue Karai, but who shows up? Tiger Claw! The rock steady! And the Bebop, baby! Wow, wow! We are getting the turtles and crush them like the blueberries! Out of sight! Dynamite! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Nailed it. And then who shows up? It's the return of the Mutant Shredders! You may remember the Mutant Shredders from earlier episodes or from the 2003 series or from the comic books. They're back! Crab Shredder, Shrimp Shredder, Lobster Shredder. I can't stand them things. They are nasty, they are ugly, they're disgusting, and I'm allergic to shellfish! The turtles fight all of them. They don't get Karai, but they're just like, we got to go. Before they go, Tiger Claw was like, hmm, which turtle shall I mess up today before they leave? I choose Raphael. Breaks Raphael's leg, he just goes full Tanya Harding on Raphael's leg before they get out of there. Shredder shows up and is like, All right, my daughter's still here, that's cool, but uh, you let turtles in my house. Now I gotta go get a maid service, clean the whole place up because it smells like sewer up in here. Don't make me have to call a maid service again, or I'm gonna beat you up. The turtles come back, Raphael is bruised, April's kind of healing him up, but they're like, No, we gotta go back, we gotta go back and save Karai. And that's when Splitter walks in and, like, Every time you guys go and try to save Karai from the Shredder, you have gotten beaten up. We've done this like 10 times now on this show. Show. And every single time you get hurt or Karai tricks you or something else happens, have you not learned? Can't you go back in time again? Call up Monty Gunko, Muckman, see how they doing? Something different. This whole going into Shredder's Lair saving Karai business clearly has not worked in every episode that you've tried. But you know Leo, he gotta get his girl. I don't care what Splinter says. Um, I'm just gonna go by myself. Y'all all stay here. I don't need technology, Donatello. Well, what about the turn? No, I'm going by myself. Seth Green out! So Leonardo in his Mystic Ninja outfit goes to Shredder's lair, is about to walk in when he is creeped up on by Michelangelo! He's like, dude, I'm not gonna let you go alone, bruh. Turtles ride together, ride or die. It's not his words, but something like that. They go into the mutant lab, Rocksteady and Bebop right there waiting for him, captures the turtles, puts them in a cage, and plans to drop them into a vat of mutagen to make a two-headed turtle monster. Leonardo calls it bluff and is like, why stop there? Why don't you add other animals into it? Make us just a straight up monstrosity. And Bebop and Rocksteady are like, oh, that's a good idea. So they call Crab Shredder, Shrimp Shredder, and Lobster Shredder and make them all jump into the mutagen so they can make a two-headed crab, lobster, shrimp, which I'm pretty sure is a meal that you can order at most American restaurants. I want a turtle stuffed in a crab, stuffed in a shrimp, <laughs> stuffed in a lobster. A crumpsterstel. Seriously, you know that's a sizzler or something. But when crab, lobster, and shrimp shredder get into the Vatimugen, they merge into one gigantic, nasty looking, monstrous mega shredder. It's got multiple eyes, multiple mouths, multiple hands and feet, and its tongue even has a little Orokusaki on him. And he's got the scales on the back, and when he rises from the ground onto the city's surface and you hear that music bomb 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 beep bop 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 bomb you're like ah oh, Godzilla references anyone guess we get Godzilla references Pacific Grim even attack on Titan Attack on Turtles. Now they can show this episode during Toonami. Leonardo and Michelangelo are fighting the Mega Shredder, but Michelangelo gets caught by it, and then Mega Shredder eats him. Feed me! The other turtles are watching it on TV, and they're like, we need to go save them. They look up at Splinter, and he's just like, God dang, these kids. Get out of here! Just go, go, go! Raphael wants to help out, but his leg is still hurt. There's only one way for them to all still walk again. It's time to bring back 
the turtleneck. Donatello, Raphael, Casey Jones, and April O'Neil inside of the giant turtleneck going up against the giant kaiju Mega Shredder. So what do you do when you have a monstrous Mega Shredder kaiju and a giant turtle mech robot? Let them fight. Turtle mech fighting the kaiju Mega Shredder. Oh my god, with Ninja Turtle in it. Oh my goodness. This is some straight up fan fiction come to life. Michelangelo is inside the Mega Shredder. Inside of him is a pool of mutagen as well as one of the brain worms. So Michelangelo climbs his way out of this thing. While on the outside, the turtles are fighting the Mega Shredder and find out that the brain of the Mega Shredder is actually its tongue, which has the little Orokusaki on it. Is this weird enough for you yet? Leonardo gets captured, the turtle mech is down, we think all is lost, and then right from the teeth of one of the mouths of the Mega Shredder, bust out Michelangelo with a cowabunga and he jumps out of the mouth with a booyakasha cuts the tongue off of the mega shredder it's so funny because it lands and he looks and he goes oh I'm, I'm not on the monster anymore I'm dead. then the turtles shoot an explosive inside of the mega shredder's body it explodes stay puff marshmallow man style little raindrops of mega shredder goo are raining all over the city shredder keeps falling on my head and Michelangelo was even able to capture the brain worm that was inside of the Mega Shredder monster, which the turtles want to take home because they think that Donatello can be able to use it to create some kind of reverse serum, an antidote to fix Karai. So good job, look forward to the next new episodes, and good job in making a better American adaptation of Godzilla than both Godzilla movies that we've made here. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Ninja Turtles. What movie would you love to see the Ninja Turtles reference next? I love you like a play cousin, I'm Addy 5000, Chain Chomp Yo. Thanks for watching this episode, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button, and be sure to check out the rest of my Ninja Turtles recaps. Booyakasha!